button has been pressed. Hello haters! World Cup is about to happen. I'm honestly shivering from excitement already. I'm not into football, but I think even for people who are not into the sport, it's a big deal because everyone watches it. It happens once every four years. Before I go into that, I just wanted to share my recent experience in Tunisia where I met these crazy guys who apparently are obsessed about the World Cup and they even know traditional Russian songs. Yeah, Rusi, yeah, Jair, yeah, Jair. Yes, yes. Kalinka, Malinka, that's the Russian version. Mish Marouhin, Mish Marouhin, Russia, Russia. Gorbachev, Gorbachev. Lubulo, Gorbachev. Crazy Tunisian, Tunisian Mohammed Shumaker. For those who don't know me, welcome to my vlog. My name is Ekaterina. I like to be called Cat. That's why my vlog is called Copycat. As you can tell by my name, it's Russian. So I'm a simple Russian girl. I got vodka in my blood, so I dance with brown bears and my soul is torn apart. <laughs> yes, I love doing very strong Russian accent. I just recited the song uh, <laughs> by Jenya Lublich. I am just a simple Russian girl I've got vodka in my blood So I dance with brown bears And my soul is torn apart So I dance with brown bears And my soul is torn apart Unfortunately I didn't write that But I can really resonate with this beautiful song As you might know, World Cup is happening in 11 different cities I'm going to Russia in just a day God, I can't wait. I'm currently based in Madrid. I live and work here. But when I realized that such a big event is happening in my country, of course, I couldn't miss it. And luckily, I was given a job in my hometown, Rostov and Don. Rostov is situated in the south of Russia. It's on Don because Don is one of the biggest rivers in Russia. So yeah, I can't wait. The first match in my hometown will be Switzerland versus Brazil. So. I might see Neymar or, I don't know, one of the football celebrities. Some people mix Rostov and Don with Rostov the Great. There is also the city called Rostov the Great. And one of my friends once nearly booked the wrong ticket. Because, you know, when you search for the trains, there are both options coming up. My city is the greatest. You are all welcome to come. I know that not so many Russian people speak perfect English, but I'm sure they will try. I think it's a huge deal, especially for provincial cities, for smaller cities. I think in Moscow and St. Petersburg, you know, they have met foreigners. Of course, the scale of the event there is going to be a lot bigger, but at the same time, I feel like the excitement in smaller cities is going to be much higher. For me, it is about storytelling, it is about meeting people from all over the world. It is about being an ambassador of my own country, of my own culture. And despite politics, I really think that we have a lot of things to be proud of. I love Russian culture, it's very rich. I love our literature, I love our people, I love their big warm hearts. Every time there is some story surrounding the World Cup, I remember there was an octopus Paul story. This octopus who was predicting the matches apparently. Um, so this time I already heard there was a story about a cat from St. Petersburg. One of the most famous museums is called Hermitage and it's famous for hosting a lot of cats. And so there is this white, adorable, blind cat with blue eyes and apparently this cat was already pretty good at guessing some of the game's outcomes. So let's see if this very smart cat guesses more. If you want to be updated through the real Russian person who will be going to watch the games in Rostov and Don, stay with my vlog. I will try to vlog every little moment when I can. Starting from the airport, I'm flying Madrid, Istanbul, Istanbul, Rostov and Don. I can already feel special buzzing in my country. All the news about the World Cup, hashtag World Cup. It's really crazy and it's something that we waited for so long. In Rostov, we even have a new airport right now and for me it's super inconvenient because we used to have an airport which was based 
right in the city and it literally took me 15 minutes to get from my house to the airport now it takes about an hour but of course the new airport is beautiful and it can fit more people i've seen some instagram stories and some of the stuff that my friends are posting i can see how many new things they already built in the city including the stadium including the beautiful harbor line Russia means politics but I hope that we can get away from that politics and people are two different things I think Russian people might seem cold at the beginning but one of the special things about us is that when we are warm we really mean it I honestly hope for anybody who visits my home country they will only have good experiences I had a great experience working for Sochi 2014 Olympics for example and I remember media of course was speculating with different weird stories about the bombs, about terrorism attacks. Unfortunately, this happens, it's inevitable, that's the nature of the media, I can tell you being a journalist. But I also strongly believe that it's all about the person and it's about your attitude. You are the one who chooses if you come in good or in bad spirits. If you say, I hate Russia from the moment you enter the country, I doubt you're gonna have a great experience. So. I think I have a poltergeist in my house. <laughs> Some weird sounds, and maybe it's my neighbors. They stopped playing Robbie Williams' song, which they played for the past week, so that's good news. Here are some tips when you come to Russia, because I'm worried about you, so I just hope that you stay safe. Don't smile to every single person on the street. I have one Brazilian friend, and she was saying, I'm going to come to Russia, and I'm going to smile to every single person, and I said, good luck. I just hope I don't need to come and save you at some point. Check out the weather before you head to my country. A lot of people keep saying how freezing it is in Russia, but hey guys, I'm in Spain right now and it's super cold, it rains all the time, whereas in my hometown it's going to be plus 30. I hope you know how to handle the heat. When you're in Russia, try national food. I think we have some really amazing cuisine to try. For example, in my city, Rostov and Don, there is a food called draki. I'm saying it with an English pronounce now. It's called draki, that's how we say it. It's like crabs or crayfish. They're big and red and they're delicious and a lot of people like to have them with beer. Enjoy! When you meet a bear on the streets of Russia, don't get scared, just be friendly. Remember speak Russian to a bear because obviously bears wouldn't know any other language. They've been our pets for many years, so they are our good buddies. Sometimes we have some vodka with them. They keep us warm, they can give the best bear hugs to us, and they also like red caviar. So if the bear decides to eat you, suggest him red caviar and vodka instead, okay? And my final tip, don't go to Russia without reading Russian literature. Russians are crazy about poetry, about literature, about Leo Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, uh, Crime and Punishment, you know, all the other literature. I can include the list. <laughs> if you're curious about Russia, if you have any questions, if you just want to bring some hate and say how much you dislike my country, <laughs> please I welcome you to do so in my comments. I call you haters for a reason, after all. Also, I think it would be fun if in the comments below you can make predictions regarding which team is going to win. We will see at the end of... Uh, no, in the middle of July, if you are right or wrong. I love to send postcards. So for those who can guess one of the top three countries that are going to win the World Cup, I'm going to send postcards from Russia with love. <laughs> Even if you're not traveling to Russia, I hope you will stay with me at my vlog, watch copycat vlog, I promise to bring you a lot of interesting and fun stuff. Bye bye, your copycat.